Well, I'm going to say the gospel from from uh, churches like uh, uh, the folks where, where the singletons are from and also uh, other churches on the east and west side. You know, in the beginning of the services, they have gospel or what they call worship, and it opens doors, it opens minds, and then the preaching can take place. But 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes, 30, 35 minutes or more, of uh, gospel music. Uh, now, what would you define your gospel music as? What is it? Is it because there's, 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 you know, there's the old time, what they call the old timey gospel, you know, and then there's uh, the slave kind of gospel, and then there's contemporary as well. So, where do you fit in there with that, Barbara? Or, well, no, which, which one? Uh, what do I have here? I have Barbara. You have Barbara. Okay, Barbara. No. <laughs> now, this is where I fit in, and I'm a. Um, I love the singing of the gospel because it, 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 it expresses what you're feeling on the inside. Your relationship with Christ comes out in the gospel music and your compassion is shown through how you demonstrate your relationship with Christ in the gospel, the word from the gospel. So that's, that's my feeling. The music has transitioned quite a bit and uh, I'm not so sure so much as how the music from today's generation fits in the contemporary gospel fits in with the gospel from the old days, but there's a lot of change. But it's still the word of God. If it's felt that way, it'll be demonstrated that way. Hey, Valerie, can you give us a little bit? Um, wow, well, let's see. I just can't give up now. Come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that the road would be easy and I don't believe he brought me this far to lead me. That was beautiful. And this is a response. Yes, Lord! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, you have the band in the background and, and the singing. Heck yeah. yeah. That's that's great. Now, and your family's deeply rooted here. Isn't there a school named after... Your dad, yes, right? there is. I had yes, to uh, go read to the kindergarten classes yeah. just uh, yesterday, and it was awesome. It was awesome. Was it cool though when you pull up and you look at the name on the school? Yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool. cool. Yeah, it's just totally awesome. It's uh, just amazing. You get goosebumps yeah. when you walk out and when you go up there. And yeah. yeah. And I love the Singleton Hotline. That that uh, for uh, bullying, they have a hotline. Oh, I'm like that was amazing. Wow. So, really? Yeah. <laughs> And that's just one of the accolades for them. There's a park, a Singleton Park, and there's a Head Start program named after him also. And that's just to show what God did in his life to make people appreciate their walk. And uh, both my mom and my father appreciating their walk for him. Okay, your, your dad died, was it your mom that died not long ago, right? Yes, yes. Mom passed in March. In March? Of this year. Dad passed in 2011. Doesn't. Okay, I remember both actually. Yeah. Yeah. Very difficult. Yeah. I know my wife attended a couple of women's conferences that your mom, she was not only a singer, but she was a great teacher. Yeah, she was a great teacher. Traveled all over the country uh, teaching, and uh, you know, not everybody in Juliet realizes that not just the church, they're on the mm -hmm. east side, which is a history of its own of all the programs you have and the outreaches you've done through the years. And part and parcel, it's an interesting site kind of a side view here, you know, um, not that we're perfect here in Joliet, we certainly are not, but when you compare it to other towns the same size, or like Chicago, whatever, you know, the relationship that between the whites and blacks and greens and yellows and all that kind of stuff going on in Joliet, not perfect, but one of the, the centers of outreaches with the police and with social and with other ministries was your mom and dad and the church and the deacons and everyone else kind of joining together at the... Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm interested. Now, you're, I just walked in here. Now, you're here to, to, to tell us about a, a big event coming up. Are you not? Are you going to be talking about that? Because you've got to do it a couple times because we keep some people are catching us for five minutes here and three minutes there and 14 minutes when Ed sings, you know. And so we yeah, got to make they, sure that, that uh, you we came for your class. Richard, I offered to sing backup for them. But <laughs> just, you know, just kind of gave me the blank look. <laughs> you know one of his favorite songs? I love for him to sing? Mm -hmm. Far, Far Away. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Silent Night. It's so low. <laughs> well, Silent Night. It's so low. That's a good one. That's very good. 
No, we just had our, our class reunion, and, and then we got to participate and sing at the Tony Ray Gospel Fest. So Good. Those Great. things that you're speaking of have already yeah. happened. Did you did you get through the event? Because it rains every four hours here. Did you get <laughs> I know it's turned like really tropical here now. I mean, it's 101 degrees. I know right. that. And you had but your high school you, reunion. Yes, we did. And I, you know, we're having ours. You know, I, I went to Shepherd and I went to Lockport. And you look at what number it is. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I hey, know. I know, ahead. right? <laughs> but we're still. I'm not old enough for that. I know. I know. I know. No, my, my like particular that. genre is, is more worship. Yeah. Um, so it's more focused on, on the attributes. Of you Christ have a CD? I do. Well, let's talk about that. And how okay. can people get a hold of that one? Um, you can email me at valsingletonmusic at gmail.com. Um, I'll, have, Valerie, I'll have that on our Facebook uh, page later this afternoon on oh, okay. our personal one in the show. Awesome. So people know where to get your music from and, and get information about you and, and, and your family. And Barbara has one as well. Yeah, Barbara, you're, you're a singer too, huh? I'm singing too. Oh, yeah. Barbara, I have one, but I'm working on a real would, one. Would you go, <laughs> can you give us a, a little sample of something you might sing? Oh, I can sing your song. No, I think he wanted me to be outside <laughs> far, far away. Yeah, and I'll sing the other one. Okay. Silent night, holy night, and that's all I was saying for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it's a good sample. It's a good start. Oh, boy. But you have a CD coming out also? I do. We're working on one. Um, hopefully, it'll come out sometime at the uh, beginning of next year. Yeah, well, let us know when you do, and if you're out here, let's let's have you on. I'd love to. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it'll do. So, now, where do you do you do travel with different churches or or, and concerts, music venues to sing? Um, Is that what you normally do? Absolutely. Actually, I live in California, but I'll be in Virginia in November with Barbara and. um, Yeah, there's. What happens in November in Virginia? I'm in Charlottesville, Virginia. We're having a Divine Diva Extravaganza, Ooh. and that's where we're going to appreciate women who may not feel appreciated most of the time. Uh, women who've gone through a lot of heartache and trouble, or just women who just want to come out and be celebrated. We're going to celebrate women by giving them gifts and uh, having our great, my great sister Valerie come mm-hmm. and worship with us by singing songs that will lift them up and encourage them. It's on November 19th, and the whole world is invited to come. <laughs> Sounds like fun. And you live in California? I do. Do you live by an in and out burger? I do. I should have bought you a double double. So oh you have next you ever, time. Do you ever go there and, and get order animal style? Yes, of course. <laughs> we have animal there style you go. Right. There you and go. Also, sometimes we'll get some people, you know, for TV people or whoever, you know, calling into the show, and I'll ask them about it. And they'll go, animal style? What do you mean? With the Thousand Island dressing? You like gotta go menu? there and tell me about the yeah. secret menu, tell me you want animal style. <laughs> And they think I'm crazy. The last guy goes, I am going there tomorrow, and I am going to tell him I want animal style. And he yeah, goes, if I sound it. stupid. No, oh, they really have it. Yeah, they do. See, yeah. everybody? It's confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> they have an animal style. I love it. Yeah, in and out For the in and out urge, right? <laughs> oh, boy. From, All right, sil- so- from Silent Night to gospel music. To, and, uh, he's going he's gonna to find a place to get the food. You should never have told him you're from California. <laughs> We know Silent Night is gospel music. What, what is that? Silent Night is gospel music. It is? Yeah. It's just sung in a different way. It's still the gospel. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, okay. Well, it was beautiful. And anytime you want to come in here and sing to me, feel free. Just so you know, she was singing looking at me. <laughs> just like Rita Coolidge, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> Wait a minute. Rita Coolidge really did sing to me. Here we go again. <laughs> I, have, I believe you. I have it on video, too. So mm-hmm. that you were singing over here to me. Because <laughs> no one ever believes me. No one ever believes you. No, because she's singing to me and they're like, mm-hmm. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, do you have anything else that, uh, coming up you want to promote? I know you've got your CDs. I'll make sure that's all over our Facebook pages uh, so that people uh, know where to find it. Anything else? Nothing major coming up. We're just, um, just going around, you know, encouraging the women of the world that we encounter and and just promoting Christ and just uh, showing love and and just trying to be an example as we were taught to be. I was going to say, that's going to be a lifetime uh, experiences for us of 
doing what we were taught by our parents and that's never to be idle in our belief. Things change and we have to continue to move forward and by the grace of God we have chosen to do just that and that comes from a good foundation that we stand Absolutely. on. But you know what my mom always tells me? I'm 55, and she's, she's only like four foot one, and I'm not kidding you. She'll still sort of take a swing at me. <laughs> I <laughs> love it. I mean, are you serious? First of all, it's pretty funny. And you're four foot, and you're taking a swing at me. So, but uh, anyway, she always tells me, it's four children, you have one mother. That's right. Uh-huh, yeah. you only have one mother. And that, that's true. So she's hitting it with her spoon. <laughs> <laughs> she made an impression on you, right? Well, Don't mess with mom. Yeah, well, she never hit you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, no, you can hold her back anyway. <laughs> All right. Well, ladies, thank you so much. Uh, we'll make sure we have everything of yours on there. And thank you, thank you, thank you for coming out. We had a blast. Yes. And thank you, Valerie, for singing to me. <laughs> yes, I did. I, I admit it. I admit it. <laughs> Barbara, Valerie Singleton, thank you so much. And, and Dale, thank you so much for bringing them in. We really appreciate it. It's a blessing. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. And we'll be right back with the Friends Over 50 show. Uh, quick break.